Knox County Central High School Band, under the direction of Mr. Robert Saylor, will, will perform Fantasy for Band.
tradition has been that the top five seniors of the graduating class are our speakers at commencement. Following tradition, Mr. Jason N. Sloan, salutatorian 1994, yesterday's followers, today's leaders. Superintendent Combs, principals, teachers, family, and friends. My fellow classmates and I welcome you tonight to share in this celebration of an educational milestone reached in our lives, our graduation from high school. Yesterday we were followers as we looked to our parents, our teachers, and our school administrators for personal and academic needs. We relied on our parents to physically care for us and to make all our important decisions. And for the most part, we have listened and obeyed their guidelines. We relied on our teachers to provide good instruction as we pursued academic achievement over the past 12 to 13 years. And for the most part, we have listened and taken their advice. We relied on our principals and other school administrators to establish regulations to ensure us a safe and orderly learning environment. And for the most part, we have abided by these regulations. Yes, we followed and we learned. Now tonight, we step forth no longer as followers, but as the emerging leaders of our community, our state, and our nation. Mrs. Alice Lloyd said it best when years ago she founded our local Alice Lloyd College on the premise that the leaders are here, as indeed we are. The challenge that I offer to you this evening is to pick up the mantle of leadership and wear it with commitment and honor. We all fully realize that this high school graduation is certainly not the end of all our leadership preparation, but for most of us, simply a stepping stone to college and the limitless opportunities for leadership that our chosen fields of study will offer. We have gained knowledge thus far. What we can and must build on is the knowledge that the characteristics of true leadership come, not through drug and alcohol abuse of our bodies, not through a continuation of cycle of reliance, on governmental agencies for our financial well-being, well not through the quitter's avenue of becoming a high school dropout statistic, and certainly not through the casting aside of the moral, ethical, and spiritual values upon which this country was founded, but rather through a strong commitment to ourselves, to our families, and to the world at large that we, the, the 1994 Knott County Central graduating class, will make a difference. We will make our lives count for something in whatever career path we follow. We will give more than we take from society in our combined efforts to help other people to better help themselves through new pride in the work ethic. We will not only keep our bodies free from drug and alcohol abuse, but educate others to the dangers of such abuse. By living our daily lives in a responsible, meaningful way, we will work to dispel the negative image that the media and society so often hope for the young generation. Fellow classmates, we may never meet again as a group after graduation exercises this evening. No doubt our life choices will take us in many different directions and locations. But perhaps we can reflect together on one thought that can serve to keep us united in spirit toward a common goal as we take our various pathway through life. Though we may falter along our way, Though we may stumble over many of life's obstacles, we must not fall, we must not fail. We must hold as our signpost one fact, simple but true. Every single one of us has someone looking to us as a role model, a younger brother, a sister, a cousin, or even a younger classmate. We may never even know the identity or that our actions and behaviors are being copied. What we do know is that if we fail to be the very best that we can be, not only will we fail ourselves, we will also fail those who fall. We are the leaders. The challenge is ours. Thank you.
As I look at you tonight, I remember how special this class is. It wasn't wealth or popularity that made this class so great, but the fact that you cared. If you came to school with a problem, there was always someone to talk to. You could find someone to listen to, to give advice, or to make you laugh. That is where your greatness lies. And as I see you preparing to begin the journey towards your futures, I have complete confidence that you will be successful in reaching your dreams. But no matter how much success, wealth, or possessions you earn, I will always remember who you are today. In my heart, you will always be the same Buzz, Moon Pie, Johnny, Tree, 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 Man Day, Little April, Flash, Brophy, J Baby, Spud, and Albert, that you are today. I will especially remember all of them. Thank you for being my best friend and my girlfriend. I love you. I would like to thank my parents for loving and supporting me. Whenever you get home after graduation and partying, remember to thank your parents. You couldn't have made it without them. And finally, I have one last reflection. Jason Sloan came to 